Okay, now in this video, we're actually going to discuss having a link to your offer, to your website, in your actual video. And this is a very important aspect of YouTube traffic because this is where you can really put your call to action exactly where you want it to be and you have the opportunity to change it based on what your viewers are doing. So let's talk about how you would actually go through this process. I'm actually going to go to a video that has been uploaded already and we're going to go to the annotation section of YouTube. Now when you get to the annotation section as it is listed up here um, in YouTube, you are going to be able to add an annotation that is clickable link back to your website. And what you're going to do is very simply, you're going to add the annotation and you can do this in any form that you want. Typically the best way to do this is to use a spotlight on one of the things that you want to make clickable. And you can for instance click this spotlight and what's going to happen is we're going to make an area of your video clickable. We could make let's say a particular word clickable. And what we can do is we really don't have to type in any words there. Right? We don't we can we can just let the link do its job. And then all we really have to do is determine how long we want the annotation to be. We could stretch that out to the end of the video. Right? We could stretch it out to halfway in between the video if that's where how long it was going to be there. Now the key in this process is your clickable link. And we're going to click this link here and we're going to look here and basically you'll see here that what this channel has that other channels may not have your channel may not have is an associated website so what you're going to want to do is to put your associated website into your YouTube channel and then when you have an associated website and it has to be your website you're not going to be able to have two or three you can put clickable links within the body of the video during the video back to your website. Now, this is very important because while you're giving the call to action in your video you can actually have people click a link when you tell them to click it and this is a very useful way of uh, being able to get traffic at the point at which you want it and you can actually go back and edit this video without disturbing the video itself to continue to test where the link is going to be the most effective. Of course what you would be using in this case is you'd be using the analytics section and within the analytics section one of the things that you want to do to determine whether or not your link was uh, was effective is you'd want to look at audience retention because you want to find out for, for a particular video well when is the audience leaving right so this is what you want to be concerned with the audience retention and you want to find out well where in the video in the particular video where I have my annotation is the audience actually leaving you can actually even find out in particular about your annotations in the video or where they're being clicked or how they're being clicked okay so now in this particular case uh, we don't necessarily have any annotations that we have saved so that's not going to be relevant but when you have annotations you will be able to do this and you will be able to find out how people are reacting to your actual annotations that it, that are going to be clickable back to your website okay you're gonna to want to come inside of the advanced section of your YouTube channel settings you want to scroll down here and then you want to look to your associated website now I've obviously already gone through mine you're gonna to have to go through a process of having your video or having your website confirmed all that means you're gonna to have to put a file on your website that Google can verify you own the site and once you do that your your associated website will be there you can use that website in order to make clickable links in your video very important to your video traffic now one aspect of that that's important to note is that as of the creation of this course 
you cannot watch you cannot click on annotations for mobile devices there are some clickable links for some of the iOS devices that are in development but as of right now those links are links are not clickable inside of Android devices or they're not clickable inside of some mobile devices so that's just uh, that that's in development it's in the works but it's not there yet but for the the half of the people the population that do have desktop computers this is a very helpful way of being able to have them click a link when you want them to and head back to your website okay so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video I am inside of my Google Plus page right now and we are going to look at Google Hangouts and we're going to look at Google Hangouts from a specific aspect of getting traffic to your websites obviously Google Hangouts is like doing your own webinar and it allows you to create a live event now that's very important because you can have literally live interviews you can have live presentations and people are apt to come to live events more so than they might come to read a blog or watch a video when you have a special guest and you have something that's going to be of interest to people something that might expire or something that people are not going to be able to get on a regular basis they'll be more apt to come to your site for that now how do you create a live event on your website and how does Google Hangouts actually help you well Google Hangouts is a facility that you're going to use to broadcast now you're going to start the hangout on there now this is obviously not going to be a tutorial on how to do Google Hangouts there are extensive tutorials on how to do that as well as entire courses what I'd like to show you in terms of starting a Google Hangout is something in particular now we're going to call this just a test hangout And what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule this for later. I'm just going to call that guest hangout. I'm going to schedule this for later. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this out so that uh, there just will not be a lot of people there. And then I'm just going to click the share button. Now, I'm only doing this so that this you can get an illustration of what we are talking about here. Now, here's what's going to happen. Google Plus is going to have created an event and the reason that I want to show you this event is because when we come to the event and we actually click on it here is something that we're going to look at it's called links now what's important about this is that you'll see that this is an embed code that means that you can take that embed code and put it on any website and that allows you to stream live from a particular place on the internet where people will need to come in order to watch your live event now that's why that's pretty important we can go back and we can actually delete these events from our Google Plus page and we can have this event whether it's an interview or a presentation or or uh, maybe it's an educational event we can have that event on our website we can make it exclusive to our website and that's very important because that is what will attract the people to our actual site and that's what really Google Hangouts will allow you to do if you use it uh, if you use it in this way and it's a very uh, it's live events are a very good way of focusing people's attention on your offers on your website and if you do these and you do them on a regular basis then you will start to see that people will come to recognize your site as the place where they can get some exclusive information so Google Hangouts you want to use them in just that way create Google Hangouts you want to use the embed code just as I showed you to have it on your website and invite people to your website to have an exclusive event okay so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video